Welcome back to Reality Talks with Terrence, where we don't pick sides, we pick reality. And the reality is this, Lil Wayne, nor Donald Trump, nor Ice Cube can put a plan together for black America. Now, first and foremost, man, I want to say shout out to Ice Cube and Lil Wayne for being Ice Cube and Lil Wayne and getting a chance to go talk to the president of the United States of America. Now, people, y'all looking at this way too deep. Y'all looking at Lil Wayne and Ice Cube like these clowns really represent the black community. They really represent what's going on out here in the community. Now, I want to say this. It's very disrespectful for politicians to only bring rappers, only bring entertainers to talk about the problems that coincide in the black community. If Donald Trump, if any of these politicians really wanted change, really wanted to help the black community, they would bring in the people that can really implement and put the plans together that's going to help the black community. Lil Wayne cannot do anything for the black community. Ice Cube cannot do anything for the black community. If Donald Trump was serious about helping the black community, he would bring in mayors, black mayors, black senators, black governors. He would um, bring in the people from the city council meetings. He would bring in the people from the that work the community centers. He would bring in those people. If Ice Cube was serious about doing the work for the black community and putting a plan together, and this goes for Lil Wayne, they would be going state to state talking to the black communities to see what the black communities needed because every black community doesn't need the same thing so i want to make that clear first the only way that we can get ahead as people is that we must start doing for self inside of the community let's stop putting these presidents let's stop putting these entertainers on a pedestal they cannot do anything for the black community. What saves the community is the people within the community who are ready to put in the work. That's what is going to save the black community. Now, Lil Wayne put out a tweet and it said, just had a meeting with Donald Trump. Besides what he's done so far with criminal reform, the platinum program is going to give the community real ownership. He listened to what we had to say today and assure he will and can get it done. Now, like I said, guys, I'm not mad at Lil Wayne. I'm not mad at Ice Cube and I'm not mad at Donald Trump. But I need you guys to understand something. Stop trying to cast other black people out because they don't feel and think the way you do. Lil Wayne can go speak to Joe Biden. He can go speak to Donald Trump. He can vote for Joe Biden. He can vote for Donald Trump. He can do as he please. It, it still doesn't give people the right to try to cast people out and try to cancel people. If you ask me, I feel we should go the way of Donald Trump. If you ask me, I'm not feeling that Joe Biden shit and Kamala Harris uh, people at all. I'm not, I'm not feeling them. But I am feeling feeling Donald Trump because he's real and he say what he, he 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 speaks up. He's not he's not a person that sugarcoats. He says what he says and he means it. So at the end of the day, man, don't cancel Lil Wayne. Don't cancel Ice Cube and damn sure don't cancel uh, Donald Trump, man. So if this is your first time coming across the platform, help the platform out. Like the video, share the video, comment on the video. Let us know how y'all feel about the situation. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the like bell. So every time we drop a video, y'all get it first. I want to thank y'all for tuning in to Reality Talks with Turns, where we don't pick sides. We pick reality. And the reality is this. Lil Wayne, Donald Trump, and Ice Cube, they can put all the plans together they want. It'll never save the black community until the black community is ready to save the black community. Peace.